Humans need sleep partially to conserve energy at night when our senses make us vulnerable to attack, less efficient at food gathering, but also to process the thoughts and ideas that develop our brains. And during sleep, our bodies repeatedly go through cycles of different types of sleep. The most important of these is rapid eye movement sleep or REM sleep. It takes approximately an hour and a half to two hours to complete a sleep cycle for an adult, during which about half an hour is spent in REM sleep. The REM sleep is when the most vivid dreams occur, which is associated with substantial brain activity and also oxygen consumption. In fact, levels can actually be higher than when a person is actually fully awake. As a result of this increased body activity, the breathing rate increases to sucking more oxygen and the body increases the heart rate to move the oxygen around the body, again to similar levels when our body is actually awake. However, at the same time, voluntary muscle movement is reduced and can even result in something called atonia, where the limbs are actually locked in place. This may prevent us from hurting ourselves either by thrashing about while sleeping or falling out of our resting place. And once the REM part of the sleep cycle has been completed, the body briefly almost wakes up before falling back into non-REM sleep. At this stage, your body will naturally wake up if it's had the required amount of sleep. Which is why also, as you're waking up, you have a fairly vivid memory of what you've just been dreaming about, then it rapidly fades as you open up your eyes. And once your body goes past this stage of restful wakeness into non-REM sleep, and passes into deep sleep. It's a part of the sleep where it's difficult to wake someone up from, and if woken, they'll be groggy and impaired. Here the brain isn't considering new ideas and thoughts, but rather just reinforcing the pathways of recently learned knowledge. The amount of REM sleep isn't actually fixed. As babies, we spend nearly 80% of our time while sleeping in REM sleep. In addition, if as adults we miss a night's sleep, the percentage of time we spend in REM sleep increases. So when we do eventually sleep, it's increased to compensate for any loss. Whilst the amount of time we spend in non-REM sleep remains the same. To give an example of this, if a person were to sleep, say, normally for about eight hours, spending six hours in non-REM sleep and two hours in REM sleep, and they miss one whole complete night's sleep. Instead of spending 16 hours sleeping to catch up, they actually require 10 hours of sleep, consisting of normal 6 hours in non-REM sleep and 4 hours in REM sleep. Because generally the amount of REM sleep is key to getting what may, might be considered a good night's sleep, it is actually possible for two people with different sleep patterns, one who sleeps for 6 hours, one who sleeps for 8 hours, both to achieve the same amount of REM sleep during this time, and so both are fully rested. Our sleep patterns, of course, have also changed with our modern lives, especially in regard to artificial lighting. Sleeping during the hours of darkness was ideal for our ancestors. To assist this, there's a hormone called melatonin. It's thought that the increased levels of melatonin aid in the act of falling asleep, and that high levels of light, especially blue light, suppress the production of melatonin. So ancestors, when the sun was shining, they felt awake and active, and as the sun set, they started to become sleepier. It's enabled to match their sleep patterns with that of the sun, the so-called circadian rhythm. Unfortunately, our computers and other screens also produce this blue light, which decreases the production of melatonin. As a result, people who spend a lot of time with these items can find it difficult to sleep. So a possible aid to sleep might be to turn off all screens, including mobiles, computers and TVs, an hour before you wish to sleep, in an attempt to increase your levels of melatonin. Let's look at sleep, a pleasant night's rest.